Let's talk about this, this, this story right here. We got this from TimCast.com. Quebec polls proposed tax on unvaccinated Canadians. Premier Fran- Francois Legault cited a, cited a desire to maintain social cohesion in his announcement <laughs> on February 1st. I have to wonder what that might mean. I mean, yeah. that's, that's incredible. It means become ungovernable. Exactly. Right. Well, this is sort of what we were talking about the other day when I was saying a huge reason this trucker convoy is a threat to them is because pe- people realize they can stand up for themselves and don't have to obey every order. They're not going to be as effective when they try you to impose like things like this. mean like people have power or yeah, something? Yeah, exactly. What, that, what does that mean? The people yeah. have all the power? Whoa, whoa. Hold on. You mean like Quite workers of, of the world? World are uniting? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, I, not like that. Not, not, right, no. right, right, right. I think it's funny that I've pointed out, you know, we, we've talked about, th- there's like a meme about whenever workers actually do start protesting, but it's for like the wrong direction, the left gets mad about it. Mm-hmm. And it's never been exemplified better than it is now with truckers, workers of the world, uniting in opposition to government authoritarianism. Mm-hmm. And now they're all getting angry about it. But, 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 but the You're point racist. is, the point of the story is, to maintain social cohesion. Yeah, it's working. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's having an impact. When people stand together and push back and honk their horns, the powers that be recoil in fear. I mean, I just love seeing these these comments where, you know, so it's it's like somebody screaming, I just can't take it anymore. The, you know, these <laughs> truck, these racist white supremacists, they're, they're in there in, in the downtown and whatever it is. And then you just, and the response is just honk, <laughs> honk. Yeah. You know, this reminded me in China when they took this app off young people's phone to have a, like a basically funny stuff and talk about their private uh, you know, sex and, and dating. And the government even banned that app. And how did they protest it? To find our own people, they go out and Didi, Didi, they push their car. Didi, really? Didi is like, hey friend, hey, hey comrade, Didi, Didi. Because uh, Didi was the name of the app, right? No, it was like a, the, the, the car noise. DD also is the app. That, right, the name of the app was yeah, yeah, DD. Yeah, right. The DD. Oh, wow. yeah, the yeah. DD was. Well, it's like so they whatever. were honking the horns beep, beep, to make it sound like DD. It also, sounds like also DD was the app that was banned. against the government who took away people's entertainment. So that's that tells you the state of today's young people in China. They're just they have no meanings in life. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it was you posted it, Jack. Someone posted George Soros getting angry about what China was doing and speaking yeah. out against them. Was it, was it you tweeted about that? Uh, Bree Dale had tweeted it, and then I, I commented some, some, on that. Someone said that Soros is finally realizing that— Yeah, that was me. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the West is going to be subservient to China in this, you know, after this great reset or whatever. Right, So, and you're seeing this. Like Jake Taper at CNN is now attacking China during the Olympics, and George Soros is out and come out and put this video. And so— People are saying, hey, wait, what's going on? Like, why, you know, why, why is Soros, the guy who's Mr. Open Society, Mr. Color Revolution, you know, who spread so much misinformation, actual discord, he's the guy who funded all these crazy DAs across the United States that lets violent criminals out in the, on the streets. And that's why homicides are at a complete um, record highs just across the country. But suddenly he's against the CCP. What's this? And I said, you, like, no, guys, this is Game of Thrones stuff, right? This is stuff that's going on at the higher level. It's who gets to be senior partner, who gets to be junior partner. And the idea <laughs> oh, wow. was the West wow. thought they were going to be the senior partners, <laughs> but suddenly they realized that if all the manufacturing is in another country, then guess what? That country's the one with the power. 